the entrance antiphon. Your merciful love, O God, we have received in the midst of your temple. Your praise, O God, that the remaining reaches the ends of the earth, and your right hand is filled with saving justice. This mass is being offered for Ricky Calabrese. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good morning. Let us prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries by calling to mind our sins and asking God for pardon. Lord, have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who in the abasement of your Son have raised up a fallen world, fill your faithful with holy joy. For on those you have rescued from slavery to sin, you bestow eternal gladness. <clears throat> Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. Jacob departed from Beersheba and proceeded toward Haran. When he came upon a certain shrine that the sun had already set, he stopped there for the night. Taking one of the stones at the shrine, he put it under his head and lay down to sleep at that spot. Then he had a dream. A stairway rested on the ground with its top reaching to the heavens and God's messengers were going up and down on it. And there was the Lord standing beside him and saying, I, the Lord, am the God of your forefather Abraham and the God of Isaac. The land in which you are lying, I will give to you and your descendants. He shall be as plentiful as the dust of the earth, and through them you shall spread out east and west, north and south. In you and your descendants, all the nations of the earth shall find blessing. Know that I am with you. I will protect you wherever you go and bring you back to this land. I will never leave you until I have done what I promised you. When Jacob awoke from his sleep, he exclaimed, Truly the Lord is in this spot, although I did not know it. In solemn wonder he cried out, How awesome is this shrine! This is nothing else but an abode of God, and that is the gateway to heaven. Early the next morning, Jacob took the stone that he had put under his head, set it up as a memorial stone, and poured oil on top of it. He called the site Bethel, whereas the former name of the town had been loose. Jacob then made this vow, If God remains with me to protect me on this journey I am making, and to give me enough bread to eat and clothing to wear. And I come back safe to my father's house. The Lord shall be my God. This stone that I have set up as a memorial stone shall be God's abode. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response is, In you, my God, I place my trust. In you, my God, I place my trust. You who dwell in the shelter of the Most High, who abide in the shadow of the Almighty, say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. In you, my God, I place my trust. For he will rescue you from the snare of the fowler, from the destroying pestilence. With his pinions he will cover you, and under his wings he shall take refuge. In you, my God, I place my trust. Because he clings to me, I will deliver him. I will set him on high because he acknowledges my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in distress. My God, I to my trust.
has destroyed death and brought life to life through the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. While Jesus was speaking, an official came forward, knelt down before him, and said, My daughter, has just died, but come, lay your hand on her, and she will live. Jesus rose and followed him, and so did his disciples. Meanwhile, a woman suffering hemorrhages for twelve years came up, came up behind Jesus and touched the tassel on his cloak. She said to herself, If only I can touch his cloak, I shall be cured. She turned. Jesus turned around and said to her, so Jesus turned around and saw her and said, Courage, daughter, your faith has saved you. And from that hour, the woman was cured. When Jesus arrived at the official's house and saw the flute players and the crowd who were making a commotion, he said, Go away. The girl is not dead, but sleeping. And they ridiculed him. When the crowd was put out, he came and took her by the hand and the little girl arose. And news of this spread throughout all that land. The Gospel of the Lord. <laughs> so as I was uh, praying this morning early with, uh, with the reading from the book of Genesis about Jacob's dream with the stairway to heaven, I could not get out of my mind Led Zeppelin's stairway to heaven. So I'm probably going to be stuck with that all day. But uh, when we left uh, Jacob on Saturday, the Saturday reading, Jacob and his mother Rebecca connived, schemed, and manipulated to steal the first blessing of the son from Isaac, who was dying. Uh, Isaac was supposed to give that blessing to Esau, who was the elder son. But Jacob and his mom, Jacob's mom having heard in a revelation from God that her younger son, Jacob, was going to be the leader, and it would not be Esau. So she heard that, and she decided, in cahoots with him, that they had to steal the blessing from Isaac. So they took things into their own hands. They didn't trust God to work out a way for Jacob to become the leader. They figured this was the only way it could happen. So obviously, they were not people of very much faith or trust in God. Whenever we try to manipulate and orchestrate things and not leave them to God, we really have a long way to grow in our faith. Now, Jacob has his dream, and finally he begins to have a faith awakening. And God tells him in the dream, he shows him what he's going to do. And he tells him, know that I'm with you. I will protect you wherever you go. You will spread out your descendants to the east, west, north, and south. But I'll bring you back to this land and I'll never leave you. And I'll do what I promised. So God comes directly to Jacob to make him into a man of faith. Now listen to Jacob's response. It's hilarious. Jacob says as he wakes up, If God, if you remain with me, if. If you protect me on the journey, if. If you give me enough bread to eat and clothing to wear, if. And if I come back to my father's house, then you, Lord, will be my God. Wow, what an act of faith that is, huh? God's going to do all these things before he'll be a man of faith. At least he sets up a stone as a memorial to remember that this was a moment in his life. And Jacob will become a man of faith. He has to because he's going to have 12 sons who become the head of heads of the 12 tribes of Israel. So we see Jacob awakening to faith, but it's hardly an impressive ascent of faith to God. 
It's not great. It's still growing, still weak. He still cannot pray in the words of the psalmist, in you, my God, I place my trust. He's not there yet. But contrast that to the gospel. A synagogue official's daughter has died. And he comes to Jesus, my daughter has died. But come, lay your hand on her and she will live. Now that is what you call faith. When something or someone or a relationship, something in our life that we long for has died, we still come to God and say, bring this back to life. That's faith. And a woman who'd been hemorrhaging for 12 years, and not Matthew, but Mark says, no doctor could help her. She spent tons of money. Nobody could help her. She still hasn't given up on the cure. Comes up behind Jesus secretly, and touches the tassel on his cloak. And she says, if only I can touch the cloak, I'll be healed. And she touches Jesus, and he whips around to see who touched him. And he says, courage, daughter, your faith has saved you. And from that hour, the woman was cured. So we are to emulate the faith of the synagogue official and the faith of this woman. And look at Jacob and say, probably more likely, that's where most of us are. Verily, very waffly in our faith. Not with the kind of faith of the synagogue official or the hemorrhaging woman. So let's hold them up as our ideals and where we want to grow. So eventually we can say with all confidence, like the psalmist, in you, God, I really do place my trust. I don't give it and take it back, but my faith and trust is with you all the time. I don't try to manipulate solutions to relationship problems or other problems in my life. I truly give it to you. Let it sit there and don't take it back. God grant us that kind of extraordinary faith. Let us bring our prayers to God, our Heavenly Father. For the leaders of the church, may the Lord help them be attentive to his voice and obedient to his commands. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For leaders and nations of nations, may Christ give them hearts of humility concerning their constituents and striving to promote the common good for all. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those suffering from illness or from grief, may God reveal his loving presence in ways that ease their pain and restore their hope. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace in our world, for the men and women of the armed forces wherever they serve our nation, and for the safety of all first responders who serve our communities, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an increase in vocation, the priesthood, religious life, and permanent diaconate in our archdiocese, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Through the intercession of Our Lady of Pontus may we be spared the loss and damage to life and property during the hurricane season. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us now pause to add our own intentions in silence. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace in Ukraine, for an end to war, violence, racism, and human trafficking, and for a culture which respects the dignity of all life and the values of God, we pray to the Lord. Lord Heavenly Father, please hear the prayers we offer, which we make in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed 
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, but through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May this oblation dedicated to your name purify us, O Lord, and day by day bring our conduct closer to the light of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love, his resurrection we confess with living faith, his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints we praise you, as without end we acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, the Lord, the fountain of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have felt much worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Gregory our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Thank you. Let us offer each other a sign of Christ's peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be. Taste and see the Lord is good. Blessed the man who seeks refuge from him.
let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that having been replenished by such great gifts, we may gain the prize of salvation and never cease to praise you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Have a great day. Thank you. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, the Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all evil spirits who crawl about the world seeking the world of souls. Amen.